I am going to say about what is ozone layer and from what it is made up of. The ozone layer is a region in the Earth's stratosphere that contains high concentrations of ozone and protects the Earth from the harmful ultraviolet radiations of the sun. Ozone is a molecule made up of three oxygen atoms, often referred as O3. Ozone is formed when heat and sunlight cause chemical reactions between oxides of nitrogen, also known as NOx, and volatile organic compounds, also known as VOC, which are also known as hydrocarbons. Thank you. Good morning, my dear headmistress, teachers, and all my dear friends. So today on 16th of September, we are celebrating Ozone Day. Yeah, Ozone Day. So the question is, what are the effects of environment on the ozone? So the answer is, Earth's atmosphere works something like a giant, like a greenhouse. As the sun rays enter our atmosphere, most continue right down to the planet's surfaces. They hit the soil and surface waters. Those rays release much of their energy as heat. Some of the heat then radiates back out into space. However, certain gases in the atmosphere, such as carbon dioxide, methane and water vapor, work like a blanket to retain much of that heat. This helps to warm our atmosphere. The gases do this by absorbing the heat and radiating into back to its uh, surfaces. These gases are nicknamed greenhouse gases. Because of the heat trapping effect, Without the green, with the greenhouse effect, Earth would be too cold to support most forms of life. But they can be too much of good a good thing. Carbon, di carbon dioxide is released when we use fossil fuels, such as coal, oil and natural gases. We burn these fuels made from the ancient remains of plants and animals. To run electricity, generating such as gasoline and diesel fuel, power most of the engine that drive cars and airplanes and ships. By examining air bubbles in ice cores taken from Antarctica, scientists can go back and calculate that the concentration of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere has been throughout that last 650,000 years ago. The amount of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere has been climbing up to where today is percent greater than 6,650 years ago. That rise in carbon dioxide is essentially entirely due to the burning of fuels. Susan Solomon says she is a senior scientist with the National Ocean Oceanic Atmosphere and Administration in Boulder, Colo, and studies factors that climate affect the climate. So this is the answer. Yeah. So this is the how the environment affect the ozone. So thank you for seeing this video. Why International Ozone Day is celebrated? In 1994, the United Nations General Assembly proclaimed 16 September the International Day for the Preservation of the Ozone Layer, commemorating the date of signing in 1987 of the Montreal Protocol on the substances that deplete the ozone layer. This year, we celebrate 36 years of global ozone layer protection. Life on Earth would not be possible without sunlight but the energy emanating from the sun would be too much for life on earth to thrive were it not for the ozone layer this stratospheric layer shields earth from most of the sun's harmful ultraviolet radiation sunlight makes life possible but the ozone layer makes life as we know it possible. World Ozone Day held on 16th September celebrates this great achievement.
morning. My name is Prititi Acharya from 7th day. Today, I am going to show you some measures to protect the ozone layer. Now, the question arrives, what is ozone layer? Ozone layer is a layer that covers the earth and protects us from the harmful ultraviolet rays of the sun. And now, the pollution made by the humans have harmed the ozone layer. There are many holes in the ozone layer which allow, the, which allow the harmful rays of the sun come directly on the earth. Now, we must just avoid these rays come directly on the earth. How? By protecting the ozone layer. I will say you some measures you must just follow in your daily life to protect the ozone layer. First measure is avoid the consumption of gases dangerous to the ozone layer. We must just decrease or reduce the release of chemical gases produced by factories, mills, etc. and keep our surroundings clean. Second measure is minimize the use of vehicles. Vehicles produce harmful carbon gases which are dangerous for the ozone layer. So we must just use uh, bicycles or walk for small distances. Third measure is do not use the cleaning products which are harmful for the ozone layer and for us too. Did you know that the cleaning products we use in our daily life contain chemical acid which are dangerous for the ozone layers? Yeah, we must just reduce of the use of these chemical products in our daily life. The fourth and the main point is the three R's. What are these three R's? These three R's are reduce, reuse and recycle. How do we use them? Reduce. Reduce. We must just reduce the wastage of water. Reuse. We must reuse the old item in new creative way. Recycle. We must recycle old tins, plastic bottles, etc. The fifth and the last step is plant more and more plants in your area which take in carbon dioxide and give out fresh oxygen which keep our surroundings clean. These are simple five measures we can use in our daily life to protect the ozone layer. Thank you.